Hey all and welcome back to another brilliant video about uh, how to split up your route or divide your route into multiple days in my route app. Firstly let me explain or say that I am not sponsored uh, in any way by my route app. I don't know them personally, I don't get any money from them, I don't give any money to them other than my, other than, other than my subscription and I have no affiliation whatsoever with my route app. This is all on my own back and my own opinion. Right, so how do we do that? As you can see, I'm in my My Route App page and I've been through this in other videos, so please look through this playlist and you'll find them. Firstly, I'm going to assume that we have a long route that we want to divide up into multiple days. So I thought that rather than pre-make the route, I would just run through that quickly at the start of the video just in case you want a bit of a refresher if not then please do skip through to the next chapter called splitting up my route it'll be in the bottom so or splitting up the route i'm not quite sure i'll call it yet but you'll see it it's follow the chapter markers markers in the in the bottom down there all right so let's start off with a new route a couple of interesting things in my route app in case you hadn't really noticed there are now um some as as of last month as of august there are some different modes. You can choose whether you want to have car, bicycle, foot, motorcycle, or motorhome. I know motorhome is kind of cool if you've got a motorhome because it will take into account the dimensions of your vehicle. I'm not quite sure what difference it is if it's a motorcycle to a car. Maybe you can put it in the comments below, but I would be a motorcycle, so I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to just call it test split route one just in case i do another one i'm not sure yet so let's just say okay let's go off and ask me where i want to go to and from to start with so i'm going to go and put in uh one of my favorite places in the uk uh, at linton i'm in north devon i'm not there at the moment i wish i was but let's say uh, assuming i'm going to start from there and then let's assume that i'm going to go all the way up to glasgow in scotland so there we go, give it a second and my route app will go off and make us a nice route all the way up to Glasgow. In fact, there it is. There is the route from North Devon to Glasgow. Now that route, before you can split a route, you have to have waypoints or route shape points. I've covered waypoints and route shape points in, in, in another video, go and check it out. But we need to have waypoint stroke route shape points otherwise there's no way to split it the, the the software doesn't know where to split it to and from so to make that easy for myself i'm going to go and expand my route and by the way you'll need the my route app gold membership to be able to do this it's pretty cheap it's a lifetime once off membership please go and buy it so uh, i'm going to click on the page menu i'm going to go to my toolkit and i'm going to expand this route and I'm going to give it uh, 20 points for now for argument's sake. And let's just go and click on 20. OK, and there you go. It goes and gives it 20 points. Interestingly, on the left hand side here, it tells you how far it is to each waypoint. Let's assume now I want to do this over, say, three days or two, two nights. I might, for example, on day one, I might just go from from where I will be in North Devon. And let's say I wanted to go up to, um, I don't know, Stoke-on-Trent in Staffordshire. That's quite a nice part of the world. So that's one to nine. Um, so I'm gonna write that down uh, on a piece of paper, one to nine. Then maybe the next day I want to go up to, oh, look at the beautiful Lake District. So Lake District, if you haven't been to the Lake District in the UK, it's definitely worth a visit. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Lake Windermere, which is this lake here, is uh, one of the most famous lakes. So I'm just going to take that marker point over there to uh, to there. And I know that's route waypoint 14. And then the next day, of course, would be my last day, which is all the way up there to marker point 20, which is the end. So let's go now and we've got a route i'm sure your route will be more complicated than that but we've got a route and i've got a rough idea which days are which nights i want to spend where um i want to spend one somewhere around in stoke-on-trent which is route nine and the other one somewhere around in the lake district which is which is point 14. 
So I'm going to go up to my um, my toolkit again and I'm going to go to toolkit. And I'm going to come down to where it says split. Pretty self-explanatory. And I'm going to click on split. Day one is here. We know that already. I want to go up to day nine. There's split one. And then I want to go to 14. There's split two. And that's it. All I have to do now is go and create the, the split file. In fact, it's going to create three new routes. If you see there, it says amount of new routes three. I can go and rename them to whatever I want. So let's carry on now and say next. So I'm going to do, I'm going to call this day one. I'm going to call this day two. And I'm going to call this day three. I could call it anything I like, and you can always change them later in the information part of the route. And I'm going to go and say split. And off it's gone and split the routes. Ding dong. But hang on a minute, where are they? Well, I'm going to now go and find those routes. So you can do it one of a few ways. You can go back to my route planner. And in my route planner, you can nip across to where it says routes. Or you can have it shortcutted like I do. And there you go. Look at that. There's the first route that I did, which was called the test split route. And just to just to prove the point, let's go along and uh, open that route. And there's the whole route. Hopefully it comes up. There you go. There's the whole route. I'm going to say back. And or now I can go and click on each one and even in fact modify each one if I want to separately. And I can go to day one. And if you look at day one, it gives me then the route from North Devon up to Stoke-on-Trent. And I might say, so this, I might decide that I want to change this and give it a bit more information. It only says day one. So if I go to route information, I could say day one, um, uh, Devon to Stoke-on-Trent. Oops, Mr. T off. And there you go. That is then done. So if I now go back to my routes, you'll see it will say day one, Devon to Stoke-on-Trent. I'm not going to rename all of them, but to prove the point, let's have a look at day two. Day two should go from Stoke-on-Trent to Lake Windermere. Let's go and have a look. Does it do that? And it does. Hopefully it goes ding dong from here up to Lake Windermere. And you can go and edit and change any of each of the individual routes around any hole you, you like. You can go and change it in, to Manchester or wherever. You can change this to wherever you like. The point is now you've taken one route and split the route into the amount of routes that you wanted it split into. In this particular case, we chose three. You could have three or 333 if you wanted to. I've got a route which takes me from Hartford all the way down to the south of England, across to Europe, all the way down Spain, Portugal and back up. And that's going to be about a 21 day route. And when I split that, that will be 21, 21 different routes. Now, this is one way of doing it. There is another way of doing it, which I'll cover in a, not, in a different video, which would be a bit more in depth. But for now, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful. Um, please do consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already subscribed. There is a, This is in a, a playlist which has got now about 14 different videos on routing, mapping and is my route app driven. But there are some other, other vid uh, tutorial videos in there. Please do give me a like. Uh, if you decide you don't like me or you don't want to subscribe, you can always unlike me and unsubscribe to me later. Uh, thank you very much for all of your support. In the link of the video, there is a link where you, if you'd like to, you can buy me a beer, given that I'm not YouTube monetized. So please do free, feel free to buy me a beer if you would like to. It always goes down well. Thanks a lot. Ride, drive, cycle, walk, whatever it is you do safely. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.